think you guys are ready for this shopping haul. Wow. Am I in the middle right now? So I just went shopping. Um, I went to my local mall and I picked up so much stuff. I really shouldn't have gone shopping, but it was one of those things where I just needed some retail therapy. So anyways, welcome to today's video. This is just going to be a very relaxed, chill, um, kind of just me showing you what I picked up at the mall. I'm not in my usual studio. This is my living room. So as you can see, my cute little couch. But let's just dive right in because I did pick up a good amount. Of stuff so let's start off with clothes first I am gonna try everything on just so you guys can see because I hate when people do clothing hauls but they don't try stuff on like how am I supposed to know what it looks like how am I supposed to know if I want it so I'm gonna start with forever 21 and then we'll move into some of the other stores so I picked up these these are super cute they're just really like uh, reader vibes, I guess. So they look like this. They're super cute. So yeah, I just thought these would be really cute just for a different type of outfit, you know, or just chilling around the house and you want to look a little bit cuter. Yeah, these were only $5.90. That's such a steal. Like I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder. I can't help it. These are the first thing I really do enjoy these. We'll just do like accessories first and then I'll move into clothes. So since we're moving into fall, I definitely need to pick up some more booties and new ones. All of my booties I've had for probably like three plus years. They're like old, ratty. They're all like wrinkled and just, they look gross. You know what I mean? Like they just look worn out. And that's good for some looks, but then some looks, I want my booties to look pristine. So I picked up these bad boys. You can't tell me that these aren't cute. Like these? Oh, girl. I just love these because the pointed toe. I don't have any booties like this, and this is so in style now. So I really enjoy this, and I love how thick the heel is. I feel like this is going to be really easy to walk in, and nothing is better than a booty that you can easily walk in and you can walk in for hours. So these are very comfortable. I tried them on in a size six and I am a size six so they're really true to size. I love that it's like that faux leather in the front and then it bam switch around to the back and it's like a suede. I love that the zipper is also black so it kind of just like meshes in. It's not gold so it's not like standing out. These are only $39.90 so about 40 bucks. So moving into clothes but I picked these up. I think this is that um, pattern that's like the gingham. Is it called gingham? Gingham? I don't even know. Gingham? Whatever. You guys know, but these are so in right now. These are so freaking cute. I like that they're a skinny bottom as well. So I have to roll these just because I'm so short. I'm like 5'2". But even when you roll them two times, they still look so cute on the ankle. They fit my ankles really well. The reason why I picked these up was A, because they were only $18. And because it had like a section for a belt and like it had belt hoops and like a, a zipper and stuff i've seen some of these that just are like those slide on ones i like to wear belts with this kind of material because i feel like it falls down really easily and it has pockets which is really nice so you can put your phone in it i just thought these would be really cute with a cute sweater even those booties that i just showed you those would be so cute and i thought i could wear these to work as well because they're they kind of look like work pants in a way but I, I'm wearing these to work. I'm gonna be a styling work person, girl. And then I got another crazy pair of pants. So they're a light blue with white stripes and these are so cute. These were only $18 as well. They're like the same exact style, just a different pattern on them. So like the skinny jeans with the zipper, the belt loops. I got both of these in a size extra small and they fit me pretty dang good. So this is the first top I got. It's just like a really cute, um, I'll turn the brightness up so you guys can actually see it. This is what it looks like. It's so stinking cute. I love these little like baby doll tops. These are so in right now, so trendy, and I'm, I'm definitely living for it. Like I'm, I'm here. I am in. I am all in. Give me all the baby doll tops that you have. So I like this because it's long sleeve. Of course, we're going more into fall. I was walking through Forever 21 and I was like, okay, just fall stuff. Because summer here is ending like this week. Like we're already in like 60s to 70s. Like we are no longer in the 90s. So I was like, okay, no more summer stuff. I need a bunch of new fall stuff. 
it was very hard for me to do that but I found this little gem and it's so cute so it has like that little ruching on the bottom so it kind of sucks you in and then it kind of puffs up at the sleeves they're a little bit flowier and then it cinches in at your wrist I got this in a size small and this was in 1999 so the next shirt I picked up is kind of like the last one but it's a little bit different it looks like this. That last one is more of a crop top. This one is a crop top, but it goes down a little bit lower, so like it hits your jeans, just in case if you didn't want to show your tummy off. But it's a very deep v-neck, so just beware. Like, you're going to have a lot of cleavage. Again, with the flowy sleeves, and then it cinches at the wrist. You know, you can dress it up, dress it down. And I actually love that it has buttons. I got this in a size small. But yeah, this was so cute. I'll look up the price online because I cut the tag off of it. But yeah, I'll find it online for you guys. Don't worry. But it's probably like $19. You know, Forever 21 is like kind of... So then I picked up a really cute cropped sweater next. This was only $12. I love these little yellow signs. I got this in a size small as well. It's just a really cute basic v-neck kind of crossover crop top. It's a tan color. It's nice and tight. Again, it shows off your cleavage if you're here for it. I really enjoy this style. I don't know why, but I just feel like it's so flattering on my body. And, you know, tan basic super cute it's a basic top but you can dress it up a lot all right and then the last thing that i got from forever 21 is the sports bra but this is the cutest sports bra ever a bunch of you dm'd me asking me where i got this and i was like girl gotta watch the video okay can't give it up yet gotta watch the video <laughs> um yes i'm that girl i'm annoying i know I love you guys though. So yeah, I love that it has this little section at the top. I think it makes it look so different. Yeah, I get this in a size small. And it was probably like $15. Um, the back is super basic though. It just has that razor back. But it's like a mesh material so it, you don't get hot at all. It has removable pads if you want to remove them. And it just fits me really good. Like it's super flattering. Yeah, this is super cute. I needed a new white sports bra. And once I saw this, I was like... So now we're done with Forever 21, we're just going to move into two more stores. I didn't get too much at these stores, but I definitely did get some things, and I just feel like, why not show you everything that I got? So we're going to go with Sephora first. As some of you would know, I am starting Accutane in about like two to three days, I'm not sure exactly, but like this upcoming week. And um, what comes with Accutane is very dry skin, very flaky skin, just a very dry body pretty much. I didn't really have a very nourishing, thick, super moisturizing moisturizer. So I picked this one up from Sephora. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense hydration used to help hydrate dry parched skin temporarily help relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions this is their limited edition packaging and i just think it's so cute the girl at sephora put me on this i asked her if i should go with the keels ultra hydration whatever moisturizer or this one and she said this one is especially for very sensitive skin and like redness and all of the things that i'm gonna have in about a week well starting in a week so yeah, I picked this one up. This was only like $30 and this is six ounces. I think this is going to last me a very long time. So then I did have to stock up my Smashbox primer water. This is my holy grail primer. Girl, if you're not on this yet, you are missing the F out. I use this before I start my makeup and right after to get rid of that powderiness. It's so good. It doesn't have a fragrance. It feels so cooling on your skin. It does help with the powderiness if you've found that your makeup kind of looks like cakey and like just looks really powdery. If you spray this over your makeup when you're done, it takes that away. Makes your makeup look flawless. So then last store I went to was White Barn which is also known as Bath and Body Works, um, I think, right? I don't know. But I picked up a few wallflower things, like fragrances and a wallflower, just because I feel like my home never smells like really good. I feel like it smells like Matt and I, 
I don't really, I don't know, it just like has that distinct smell and I don't really like that. To, I like to come home to a nice smelling home, just it makes me feel more cozy. I like when people come over and they think like, oh my god, your house smells so nice, like what is it? But I just picked up like this, uh, this holder for them. It's just like a really basic one, honestly, because I'm just going to put it in the wall, so why do I need a huge decorative one? And then I picked up some fragrances. I picked up five because it was buy five for $23. I picked up the fragrances Crisp Morning Air, Lemon Limoncella, Lemon Limoncella? I don't know. I don't know. That's how you spell it. <laughs> and then I picked up Mahogany Teakwood because this is Matt's favorite fragrance from Bath and Body Works. Sweater Weather because I thought that was relevant. This one smells really good. This was like my favorite one. And then I picked up Linen and Lavender for like a fresh, clean apartment. Those are the five that I picked up and then I had a coupon for 10 off of 30 and I didn't think this was going to be $30 but it ended up being over $30 but I wasn't thinking that while I was in the store. So I just picked up a hand soap because all of their hand soaps were $3 and we're kind of running low anyway so I was like oh perfect. I got the scent Sunshine and Lemons and I got the Creamy Luxe hand soap. So I like this one, not the foaming ones, because I feel like the foaming ones really dry out my hands. Just love the scent of this. It just smells like fresh lemons. That is everything that I picked up for this little uh, shopping spree. I know it wasn't too much, but honestly, you, you guys know how shopping goes. It adds up very quickly. Before I leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this, like more chilled vlogish type videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye loves.